Okay, so we're going to take out these two screws right here, and we want to hook up our own driver board so we can hook this, to, hook this up to our PC, and we're no longer going to use the board that comes with this guy. So let's take these two screws off. There's one. Okay. So let's unplug these connections here. So this ribbon cable, this power cable, and then this looks like the actual connector the output of the monitor and then we have a ground when do you get that ground off to okay so here's the old one we don't need this anymore and we're going to take this same ground and we're going to hook this up to our new controller board okay so let's do the ground first And then we'll just take our nut and see if it's a little tight fit there. Okay, we're grounded. That's good. And then we have power here. So that power is going to go right there. And I think this can only go in one way. Let's just double check that. Yeah, so this only goes in one way. So in this case, the black wire is pointing to the right. Okay, got that. And then lastly is the connector here. And this one is going to go right here. And these red wires, there's also a little green dot right there. That's going to go like so. Let's make sure we're not missing any pins. This one isn't notched, so I think we could actually screw up if we put it in the wrong way. So just remember the red wires are pointing towards the left. If you actually look at the PCB, you'll see pin 2. I think this is like 30 or something. So the red wires go on the earlier pins like so. But before we do that, I'm just going to put a little duct tape just to be on the safe side to prevent a short, which we probably don't need, but better safe than sorry. So I'll just put some duct tape here. You don't, want, you don't need to screw these in so tight. Okay, so that's nice and sturdy. And then for this guy, I just put some double-sided sticky tape. We've got enough room to mount this on the wood. So, just like so. So I think that'll be okay. All right, great. So now let's test to see if this monitor works. So I'm going to take the HDMI out of my desktop and pop it in here. And we need to give this board power. This is going to use the same power as the Arcade 1UP machine, which is this power supply here. So this is uh, 12 volts. Now we could be very careful because the Pixel KD LED marquee runs on 5 volts and it has the same exact connector. So you may want to label it too just to make sure you don't screw up. 
But uh, so the five volts going into 12 isn't gonna do anything, but you definitely don't wanna put the 12 volts into the LED marquee because that's gonna fry the board. That would be bad. So anyhow, here is the 12 volts from the arcade one up machine. Let's pop that in right here. Okay, and we got power down here, so that's a good sign. Right here, we got power. And so now let's go on the other side and see if we have a signal. Now we've got windows going and we can set up hyperspin.